This video is about using reward bet to determine whether your Cronulla or trifecta bets are going to be valued. Okay, so we've got the TAB fixed odds on the screen and also in the green, uh, in, on the screen and in the green, you'll see the win form rated odds for all the horses in Mooney Valley Race 8 tonight. Okay, so how we did that, we first selected down here the win form ratings. I can do that. And if, therefore you can see the wind form ratings down the side there. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing, we have nominated from a number of possibilities, pre-post here, uh, the various totes, fixed prices and so on. So in this occasion we've got the Luxbet fixed odds on the screen. And we can sort of compare our prices compared to their prices. Okie doke. So once we've done that, we've established that number five Great Lane. We've got it rated at four dollars. Four dollars is available. Number seven Hinchley Wood, six dollars eighty and thirteen is available. We've got Daybreak rated four dollars ninety, six dollars fifty is available. Tronador is fifteen point six, but it's only available at seven dollars, so a bit of an underlay out there. However, uh, number three, Morant here, eight dollars forty, and the odds available eleven dollars. So we can see that in this race, if we take our top few horses and try to take them in the Camilla, um, we'll just click on those. So we've got that one, we've got that one, we've got that one. There's the three, there's the four. Now we're looking for what is our fifth rated horse here. So eight, 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 six, 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 and probably. Number 12, Tronador. Okay, so we've got those there. Now, do we want to bet them according to the rated prices? Or do we want to bet them according to our rated prices? So I'm going to suggest we put them into our rated prices because they're all overlays except for number 12, Tron Tronador. So let's just go here and click on Win Form Ratings. What will happen now, if we do a uh, calculation, I'm going to show you here. For example, say I take this for... Uh, an outlay of fifty dollars. I'll just go into my next thing. I'm just going to click on here, uh, Lux Bet, where I'm going to place those bets. And you can see here we've got a number of rewards. Now, first of all, the bronze reward will give us a fifty-four dollar return for the win, sixty-four for the Cronulla, and seventy-two for the place. So it doesn't matter what we'll do, we should return a profit. Remember, we're outlaying fifty dollars. Okay. The silver return here, there's less for the win, same for the Quinella, more if we get the trifecta and so on. Gold, platinum, we don't have any bets for the win at all. We put all our money into the Quinella and trifecta. Uh, diamond, we put most of the money in the trifecta. If we do the custom one, which I normally use, it gets our money back for a win, a small profit for a Quinella, and a larger profit for the trifecta. In this instance, I'm likely to go for the platinum one. Which means uh, Quinella is only just going to give me my money back, but if I get the trifecta is 133 for the $50 outlay. Okay. So I need to get at least a Quinella just to get my money back. Alright. On the other hand, if um, I go for this one, that's the custom one. You can see that for the win I get my money back. If I add the Quinella on top, that'll give me more money. If I get the trifecta, that'll give me more money again. Let's uh, choose that one and see what it looks like. There we go. Now I'll go on to next. Now what's going to happen here? We're going to have $37 in win bets, $7.50 in Quinella, $4.92 in trifecta. That's sort of reasonable. Okay. Doke. That's submit bets. I'm not going to go to that point. Instead, I'm going to go back and I'm going to have a look at another race. Uh, let's have a look at uh, race one at Mooney Valley. Okay, okay. In this race, you can have a look and you can see where our um, odds are. We've got first bloom is a dollar eighty. We've got Avro at five dollars sixty, Saint Issy at ten dollars uh, thirty, and the rest are way way out the door. So. We grab the, um, well we can do the TAB fixed prices, is close enough. And we can see here that this one, we've got the dollar eighty. it is the favourite. Now this one, Avaro, is $5.60 and it's at four twenty. 
So for our first two selections, we're pretty spot on. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is click onto that one and that one. And this one, as you can see, the $21 chance. We've also got looking down here. Where's our uh, next rated runner? Well, probably rated at 129 to 1. This is because these horses are so dominant. So um, we can click that on. That's a good price there anyway. And we can also click on, uh, where's this one? This one, the next. That gives us our top five. There you go. So, we might take them according to the windform rated prices. And you can see here that um, we will dominate by putting most of our money into this one, this one and this one. We can even, if you like, whoops, there it is. We can stand that one out in first place. Okay. So that gives us a different combination. So when we go into the next section here, just pick a nominal amount. We can go to next. And you can see here that our returns for the win on these bases and this bases are going to be quite good. For the uh, trifecta here is going to give us a, a real good result. And the quinell is going to be okay as well. So by standing out this particular horse, that's going to give us a more chance of getting good value in the race. And that means we're aiming for it to win. If I uh, put on here and uh, choose this one, go to next, we can see once again we've got $37 of that 50 for the win, $7.50 on the Canela, $5 on the Trifecta. And it will be dominated by this horse. So, um, if it only runs, uh, say, second, then we're going to be bracketed up with these other horses to get a result. Okay, let's go back to another race, and this will be the final race we'll look at. And let's just have a look at this one, race uh, four. Now we won't have a look at race four. We might have a look at, uh, say, this one. Okie doke. In this race, you can see that we have Sea Lord at $3.90. Which is by the three dollars forty, ten dollars for it is written, eleven forty for ZI night, and so on. Now let's do a comparison on the current fixed prices. We can see that Sea Lord is an overlay, so we've got it rated at the three ninety. We can currently get seven dollars fifty, three dollars forty for Richie's rich is vibe, four dollars eighty. So um, that's fairly firm there. We've rated moment of change at $19, and one of the reasons is it always misses the start. Nearly always misses the start. It's odds on. We don't think it should be odds on. So in this instance, if we were selecting that horse, and that horse, and that horse, and that horse, and that horse, they're our top five. You're going to see that that's going to be dominated by Richie's Five and Sea Lord. Um, virtually these other horses... Uh, well, it is written it's going to pay okay for us, and this one's going to be a result for us. If this one gets up, we won't even get our money back, I wouldn't think. If we were to select them on the market instead, all of our money would go onto this horse, which is actually our fifth rated horse, so you can see why we don't do that. I hope you are starting to understand the concept of value. If I went to the next screen there, you'll notice here that the market gauge is 104%, but that's got everything to do with the price of that one. So... We're going to nominate here that we're going to um, do our selections according to the rated prices. And if we go onto the next screen. Go, go, go. Next. Okay, now can we select a nominal stake? We go on to next. And if we look at our rewards here, once again on the custom one, we get our money back at first. Um, and but that would only occur if a uh, moment of change were for your long price. In actual fact, um, these targets are probably not going to happen if moment of change was to get involved um, in any way, unless it run third, and then the Quinella, the, sorry, the trifecta would pay all right because moment of change would not be expected to run as low as third. Okay. Once again, we could have gone back and we could have nominated these horses, which is Vibe and Sea Lord as our standouts, or even it is written. ZI Knight's a nine-year-old. He'll be leading, it will probably get run down. Okay, so that's reward bet. Um, if you've got want any or more information about reward bet, you can go to direct at huddlelink.net.au 
So in other words, if I go to back to Horse Racing Australia here, that's our main website. Um, you can see our contact details below. Or you can email winformathuddley.net.au for information about reward bet and how you can operate it. And uh, over here, if you go to the online store and click on ratings, you'll be able to see how to order um, the ratings that we have for uh, Winform and various other things. Good luck for now and thanks for viewing.